Hey guys! Today I'm filming a video that doesn't link in with my regular content but it's something that I thought was really relevant at this time of year. Um, the new academic year is starting soon and so people will be either going back to uni or starting uni so I thought this video would be quite good. Um, as you can tell it's my first year uni experience. Um, I thought when I before I went to uni I was watching heaps of these and I thought it'd be really useful for me to share my experience so anyone interested in um, what going to uni's like and like, anyone with like nerves and worries and stuff like I can try and help with that because these videos really helped me before I went and I felt really prepared after watching a shit ton <laughs> so um, a bit of basic stuff about my uni and what I'm doing before I get into the video uh, I just completed my first year at Southampton Solent University. I'm studying a fashion styling degree so it's a really practical degree um, and I lived in halls even though like my family home is about like a half an hour away from uni I still decided to live in halls for the experience so that's like general info about me. I started uni at like the normal standard time like I'm 19 now and when I first started I was 18 so I'm not like a mature student or anything like that. So my course like how I felt about my course um, so as I said before, it's fashion styling, so it's a really practical course. I found it really, really fun. I'm staying on my course and doing the other two years. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, there's like there's hair and makeup, there's photography, there's editing, there's all kinds of really fun stuff that we get to do. Um, yeah, so overall I really enjoyed my course. Um, yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is um, living in halls. Um, so my experience in halls was I was very nervous before I first went. As an alternative person I was really worried I wouldn't make any friends at all. I thought people would take one look at me and go, go away. And I was really, really worried. But um, I just thought, just be really brave, be really confident. Uh, like I wasn't confident but I thought I'll fake it, I'll pretend I'm really confident and then maybe it will be okay. So on the first day I moved in. Um, my mum and dad helped me moved in, we had like a big truck full of stuff and we carried it all upstairs and then my dad had to go because he had like an appointment at the bank or something. But my mum stayed with me and we started setting up my room, like we made my bed, we sorted out my bathroom, stuff like that. She came downstairs and showed me how to use the washing machines, um, put all my stuff in my kitchen and then I'd say at about five o'clock she left and she lives like relatively close anyway so she just caught the bus home. Um, and then so I was left on my own and I was a bit, I didn't want my mum to go, I was a bit scared but um, as soon as she left it was fine. Um, I just started getting on with sorting my room out. I brought so much stuff to uni, so much. So I was trying to sort my room out and I hear this little knock on my door and I go and answer it and there's uh, two or three people and they're like, hey, I'm from, from your flat, um, we're in the kitchen, do you want to come in and chill with us? And I was like, yeah, I'm just sorting my room out, I'll be in in a bit and then they left. And I was really scared and I was just like, I'm too scared to go in the kitchen so I just carried sort of my room out. And then it got to another hour later and I hear another knock on the door again and I open it and they go, come on, like come into the kitchen, come and chat with us. So I was like, okay, in in a minute and this time I was like, no Blaze, you have to go, go into the kitchen, make some friends. So I've been, I've done an Asda shop with my mum that day to like fill up my cupboards and my fridge and stuff because my student loan didn't come in for another two weeks so she stopped me up on lots of food. So I bought a big tray of 12 donuts and I thought take them into the kitchen and make friends. So I go in there and I go, does anyone want a donut? And then instantly that started a conversation. Um, so I was really glad about that. Um, it was a good little icebreaker to like offer people like food. Obviously free food makes you friends. <laughs> um, and then so it was all a bit awkward at first and everyone's getting to know each other. And then the alcohol came out, we all started drinking wine. We all got smashed and we all made friends. Um, the next day we all went out for breakfast and then after that we just kept making plans and plans. Um, yeah. So it's a little bit awkward at first but try and push through the awkwardness and then it gets fine and you make friends and it's all good. Um, I was a little bit unfortunate with the people I live with because the one, the person I was closest to ended up leaving uni just before December so she went back home. Another two girls in my flat left as well and then three boys moved in. One of them I was friends with, I worked on a documentary with him, the other two I wasn't really keen on. Um, so it ended up, it was five girls to five boys in my flat, there was ten of us, and then it ended up two girls to eight boys, which was ridiculous. It was noisy, it was loud, it was smelly, I didn't like it, and a big chunk of the boys were very not my type of people. Um, 
like I, I wasn't judgy towards them I gave them a chance but they weren't my kind of people at all very immature and noisy so that was a bit unfortunate um, I know other people had like great luck with who they live with and they're sharing a house with them again next year and they got on really really well um, but that wasn't the case for me unfortunately but I did make some other friends um, not just from my kitchen from other flats and stuff so that was really good um, yeah I really enjoyed living away from home I really enjoyed the freedom um, like shopping for myself being able to go out and do what I want not having to like I don't know ask if I can go out or I don't know have my mum worry about like me going to the shop at nine o'clock at night because it's a bit dark outside stuff like that um I did get quite homesick though but luckily for me I was only half an hour away from my family so I could just travel back and forth and my dad worked in like Southampton anyway so I'd see him quite often um but if you are homesick I definitely recommend using like Skype or FaceTime just that like, talk to your family because it definitely helps um, money wise, I am such a bad person with money, I can't save for my life, I can't budget for my life, if I see something I buy it and unfortunately the first start, well, the first term falls around the time of Halloween, as you can tell I love Halloween, I spent way too much money on Halloween stuff and I kind of regret it but I kind of don't, but my advice to you guys is budget and stick to it, it sounds really shit and it's kind of annoying but it makes it so much easier if you don't have to worry have I got enough food to buy like, enough food? have I got enough money to buy food it gets really stressful and I started to get really panicky and um, didn't help with my anxiety so I would definitely suggest budgeting and trying to stick to it and the biggest advice I can give you is to save some of your money for the summer because you get three lots of student loan you get one in October one in January one in April and that one in April you don't get any more again until October and so if you're like me and you move into a house and it starts your tenancy starts in the summer you've got to pay July's August and September's rent normally a month in advance actually um, yeah so you have to pay summer rent and if you don't have um, your student loan coming in then it's very very difficult um, if you have a job then it's okay and you can afford to pay your rent and stuff but I didn't have a job at the time um, so I had to end up borrowing money from my grandparents which is a pain in the bum and I'm still paying them back but um, I guess you just have to do stuff that you don't like <laughs> um, yeah so I've got a job now so I'm paying them back but yeah I would definitely recommend saving money for summer and making sure you've got a job so you can afford to pay your rent in the summer and the last thing I wanted to talk about is uni life um, first thing definitely 100% join a society I don't think my first year uni experience would have been as great if I hadn't joined a society I joined the metal and rock society I looked at quite a few but this one that one for me sounded the most interesting um, yeah I just wanted to try and make like like friends who were like like-minded people I wanted to find some alternative friends because at college I didn't really have any um, so I wanted to try and branch out and make some alternative friends so I thought Metal and Rock Society would be a great place to do so I've definitely made some great friends from being there and I had some great experiences like we went to Play Zone, we had many pub crawls, <laughs> many great memories and stuff like that so it was definitely a really good choice this year I'm actually setting up my own society with a couple of girls from the Metal and Rock Society um, we're setting up a horror society um, so that is going to be challenging but really exciting um, I would say try to make as many friends as possible on your course when you go in try and be talkative try and be friendly try and be nice um, offer to help people out compliment their shoes I don't know any kind of conversation starter use that and try and make as many friends as possible because it will definitely help you get through the year um, some more advice I would give you is say yes to any opportunity that comes your way within reason keeping your safety and stuff in mind but I've done some amazing stuff in my first year at uni I had a documentary made about me because I said yes it's about like my beliefs and my satanism it was really really fun filming really weird but really fun and exciting it was a great experience um, and I helped that those group of people get a first for their assignments so cheers <laughs> um, I've also been in several photo shoots for my friends um, 
the, I actually found that one of the housemates I'm living with now by um, saying yes to being her model, now we're really great friends um, and we share a house together. So definitely just say yes to as many opportunities as you can. Um, I, I don't know, I went, I had some nights that I wouldn't expect to enjoy but I did enjoy and saying yes to anything can lead to finding really cool stuff. I said yes to joining the Metal and Rock Society, uh, I've made two amazing best friends, I met my partner there, um, yeah just loads of really cool stuff so say yes to as many things as you can. I'm really sorry if this video has been really long and it's a bit boring me talking but I really wanted to just share with you guys my first year experience. It's quite, I ran through things quite quickly but I wanted to sum it up. If you have any questions leave them down below, if there's any other uni type videos you want me to film like what to bring to uni, um, I don't know how to prepare for uni, stuff like that, then ask me down below. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!